All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Just made it out to Kentucky Lake for day one of practice for our third invitational event here on Kentucky Lake, Barkley Lake. Uh, you can fish either of the lakes. So we uh, we started off on Kentucky Lake today, going to target smallmouth. I think for the majority of the day, the smallmouth population has really seemed to to take over here on Kentucky Lake. From everything that I've been seeing, I personally haven't fished Kentucky Lake since I was in high school back in 2017. So really have no idea. Uh, on anything about the lake except for kind of the research that I did coming into this tournament. And it seems like the smallmouth bite is kind of where it's at. So I'm gonna start off kind of scoping around a little bit out here, just stopped off on a bar. Just gonna put the trolling motor down, look around, kind of see what we're working with. Um, from the research I did, the smallmouth seem to spawn out on these bars. And uh, so they'll either be spawning to where they'll be on stumps and rock pile stuff like that where they'll kind of be out in the area roaming around so forward facing obviously is probably going to be a huge player this week especially anytime you're uh anytime you're messing with smallmouth that's probably going to be the deal unless they're really heavy on the bed so i'm gonna look around a little bit kentucky lake is known for its shallow bush flipping for largemouth though when they do move up to spawn and we have pretty decent conditions for for spawning largemouth so at some point i'm definitely going to look into that but the smallmouth are in play and smallmouth are biting. I just feel like if you're not targeting them, probably gonna get left behind. So we'll see what the practice ends up being and uh, make make the best educated decision once the tournament comes, but we gotta catch a few fish before we can do that. So let's get it going, guys. All right, so we'll pull out, pull out our little minnow. Um, I'm also gonna pull out Bloody tube. Which one's got the heavier? Let's see, one of these has a heavier weight, one of them has a lighter weight. It's pretty windy out today, so I'll probably go with the a little bit heavier one. I think this one's the heavier one. Oh, supposedly this tube is kind of the deal on the spawning smallmouth, so it's uh it's kind of like a Texas rig tube essentially. They call it a stupid rig, I think. Um, I've actually never thrown that, but apparently that's what they catch them on, so we got it rigged up. And I'll jerk bit out for now. You can never really get wrong with the jerk bait. We'll kind of start with those guys for right now. Pretty much just gonna kind of look around, see what we see, and go from there. I only got one hooked up out here, guys. It's a pretty good smallmouth. Got him on the Guggen Dube tube. Went and marked a bunch of stumps out on a bar and been fishing through them. This fish do quite a few, so they're definitely not on all of them. Might just be one of those deals where you just have to hit a bunch of them. Ooh, it's not hooked to the best. Smallmouth landing skills are not the best. Come here, buddy. I got him. Well, that's the kind that we're gonna need. But he's pushing four, 340. Not a bad one, though. Well, maybe that's the deal. I don't know. I have to. I have to keep keep looking to it. What, what else we come up with? I got one right now. All I have to do is get on the phone with you. That's a big one. Baby. Yeah. Literally every time we've been on the phone and I've been out here, I've hooked up on one. That one's big. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh, my drag is way too loose. <laughs> He's very big. <laughs> well, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. <laughs> I just figured something out here, guys. I don't know if my GoPro was on on that last fish, but if it wasn't, I just caught a three and a quarter. That one's like two and a half or something. But it seems like they're a little bit more on rock on these bars. I've been targeting a lot of stumps. I think rock might be what they're keying in on a little bit more. Dragging a Guggen Bates dube tube. Not too often that I get to break out the tubes. I think these are actually the first couple of fish I've ever caught on these Guggen Dube tubes just because I don't smallmouth fish all that often. All right guys, I was running in and I saw a pocket that had some bushes in it. So flipped a little bit, caught this. Uh, eh, he's probably a pound and three quarter, nothing special, but there's some nice bushes in here. They actually have some water on them. So I'm gonna flip around a little bit more. We got a couple minutes more before it gets dark out so maybe we can come across a couple flipping fish all right guys that does it for day one of practice was not the best day not the worst day Didn't really get on anything major today did figure out how to catch a few of the smallmouth out on these bars um but at the same time don't necessarily have it dialed in so I don't really know if I'm going to be able to really do it the next two days with the wind. All these bars are kind of out in the middle of the lake and the wind the next two days is supposed to be pretty pretty high so it might make, make things a little bit difficult out here. I just have to be one of those things that we just run it in the tournament and kind of figure it out as we go. A lot of times that ends up being the best thing to do anyways so I'm going to have to put together a game plan for the next two days. I'm not really sure what I want to do just on the weather. I definitely need to spend one day looking for um, some flipping fish if I can. Maybe that'll be tomorrow, maybe that'll be Wednesday, I'm not really sure yet. We'll have to we'll have to think about it a little bit more. Ideally, I'd like to fish a few more of these bars, maybe even scan around some of them, just look for, for more stumps and rock piles on them, and then just maybe run them in the tournament. So, I don't know, we'll put together a game plan over the next few days, and uh, hopefully we can figure something out for this tournament. I feel I feel decent after day one of practice. Don't feel super good, but don't feel um, don't feel like I'm completely missing anything. But kind of in that in-between, but pretty typical for day one of practice. So head back to the house, get some dinner, get some rest, and do it all over again tomorrow. Alright guys, day two of practice. Wind hasn't quite picked up yet, so I'm gonna scan around and fish a couple more more of these bars out here just scanned through a little section and uh saw, saw some some stumps actually saw what looked like might have been a couple smallmouth beds so i'm gonna swing back around here and see what we got going on we're gonna do this until the wind really starts kicking and it's unfishable and then from that point on we'll probably go go up shallow look for some bushes to flip so that does seem to be going on as well but i think this smallmouth deal is probably going to be the more consistent of the two so see uh see if we can get on a few more all the smallmouth i caught yesterday was on the tube it's the uh, Guggen Dube tube. I think that's like Canadian craw, Canada craw, something like that. Just dragging it around those stumps. All right, guys, my GoPro batteries for some reason didn't charge, so I'm charging them up on the boat right now. But just caught a nice little smallmouth on that Guggen tube, dragging a little rock pile. So definitely seems to be something to it there. Let me see. Let's see how much this one weighs. Probably like two something. Two and a quarter. So, not a giant, but decent one there. Alright guys, we got the batteries charged back up a bit. Spent the last couple hours 
just scanning around offshore on those bars looking primarily for rock piles it seems like the rock piles is what those smallmouth are relating to right now and then just if i saw any stumps stuff like that obviously mark those too it's just gonna be one of those deals where i kind of figure out the bite as the tournament goes on i think but it was getting windy out there i was getting a little a little anxious to just go fishing so pulled into a pocket we're gonna flip around a little bit see if there's some large mouth are moved up on the trees bushes see if this is something i need to mix into the rotation or if i just need to just need to keep to those small mouth i'd love to do this but i just know just know i'll get sucked into it and it could very easily be a 10 to 12 pound limit type deal or if you fish the smallmouth here those tend to be a little bit more consistent better weight so as much as i'd love to be flipping bushes i think the smallmouth is uh smallmouth are probably going to be the deal for me unless unless i find a really good stretch of bushes that big large mouth are in Oh. Little guy. He would not be keeper. But fun to come up here and get one on the frog. Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> came up and popped it. Still not the right kind, though. Oh, that was a big one. Okay. Maybe there are a couple good fish up here. That was a three, four pounder. <laughs> so cool. The water's so shallow back in here that you can basically see them whenever they come up and eat the frog I mean, my power poles are like a foot that was cool if there was like a foot more of water back in all these trees a bit I mean probably be up here pretty good I bet I'm almost starting to think that it was a little bit too shallow for a bigger fish but I guess not That's a big one. <clears throat> I want to set the hook so bad on that one, but I know I can't. That's the kind we're going to need. The carp on my frog. Oh, he just went down. <laughs> Do carp even eat frogs? He looked like he was trying to suck it in. Definitely on a little bit of a frog bite. Not a terrible one. Seems like there's water on these trees. There's a pretty good shot of there being a fish. Oof. They are biting this frog. <laughs> he came after it again. He's not very big though. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he drops it and then comes back for it. Look at him. <laughs> he wasn't very big. Let's see if he'll hit it again. That was funny. He came up and ate it like four different times. There's a bass eating a shad up there. There's another one. Can't 
tell. He just kind of sucked it. I don't know how big he really is. <laughs> they, <laughs> they want the frog. There's another one. I just don't know what kind of weight you can get doing this. Seems to be a lot of two pounders. And then maybe a, a three pounder in the mix every now and then. There's another one, jeez. You can find these, these types of bushes right here, these nice ones, more than about a foot of water. Seems to be what they're on. Even a little bit less water, but if they got more than a foot, it's just about a guarantee. All right, guys, we are calling it a day. Decently productive day today. Um, I mean, I at least figured out that I can catch some largemouth up shallow, so. I don't really know what kind of size I can really get. It seemed like a lot of two pounders, um, but it's one of those things where you can maybe get lucky and catch a four or five pound largemouth. So, but I kind of feel the same way about those bars. I feel like I can get out there and get lucky and catch a four or five pound smallmouth. So, I think I'm just gonna kind of mix the two together as the tournament goes on. Kind of just figure it out when the tournament starts. Really, I mean, I feel like I know how to catch a few fish and uh, just a, to run a few patterns during the tournament and see kind of which one prevails or, or kind of mi mix patch them and do a little bit of both. So tomorrow the wind is supposed to be really, really bad. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Maybe go put in on a river or I don't know, some area where there's some protected pockets, something like that. Offshore bite, offshore um, deal is probably going to be non-existent tomorrow in the wind so I'm just going to figure out somewhere I can go to fish shallow for the day but I feel like I pretty much have enough info based on the bites that I got yesterday and today to kind of put together a game plan for the tournament so we'll uh we'll see what happens for tomorrow figure out where I want to go and uh we'll go from there all right guys we just put the boat in for the final day of practice here uh wind is blowing today so we put it in a big creek about mid lake and uh just gonna mess around shallow for a little bit flip a couple more bushes frog a couple more bushes um but i pretty much feel like i've got my game plan as it is just uh i mean the the large amount they're definitely moving up shallow onto any type of bush that have water on them. And there's a couple of smallmouth that are out on those bars. So kind of a combination of the two, I think is probably gonna end up being my best bet here. And then those large mouth in the pockets, I mean, I could go around and look for pockets that, that look right, but really the best thing to do is kind of just run them in the tournament, just pull into them see if they got good trees if they do fish them and if not just keep going but uh seems to work out the best is kind of not having the spots already picked out and just kind of running what looks good in the tournament once you figure out a pattern so it's kind of what i did on uh on west point in that last tournament when i went from six pounds to 17 pounds and uh yeah, so that seems to be how I fish, fish my best, just kind of fishing with the conditions. But we'll fish for a couple hours today. I don't think I'm gonna put a full day in on the water. Don't wanna get myself too spread out. So I just wanted to mention the deep dive app here real quick, guys. Um, I've been using this to kind of figure out which pockets I wanna go up and fish, so. This is the best areas um, feature on the app. And so you can see it'll actually highlight the best areas um, based on the conditions. And so it's showing us lower end in the back half of the creeks. And then it's highlighting all of the different pockets and creeks that, that should be good. So um, actually I'm a bit south of, of where it's saying right now. I'm in this big creek right here. But yesterday where I was getting all of those frog bites was actually up and down all of these pockets right here. So we'll, uh, we'll zoom out on my map here. I'll show you guys. So look at, take a look at that. You can 
can see all the highlights and then take a look at where my waypoints are. So as you can see, Deep Dive app definitely helps out with breaking down a lake and I credit the Deep Dive app to my come back in that last invitational on West Point I was using the water clarity feature on that one to see where the dirty water was um, on West Point Lake and where that dirty water had been and I was targeting those large mouth that had pulled up onto trees and, and uh, uh, willow trees and banks getting ready to spawn or spawning in that dirtier water so this is the water clarity estimate Kentucky Lake is is pretty pretty consistent across the lake so this one doesn't come into play as much on uh, Kentucky Lake for this week but I have been using the best areas quite a bit so if you guys want to check out the app it's pretty awesome I'll leave a link down in the description and it's a free download so you guys can go check it out pulled into our first little pocket here looks like it's got some nice bushes a couple trees in the back here as long as they got some water on them I would think they'd be pretty decent probably just gonna throw a frog for today choking it yesterday and with this overcast conditions should end up probably being the best best option for us it is windy though fish are probably not gonna like that too much it seemed like they wanted to be in protected pockets a little bit calmer water, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, I see you. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw that bush, a little limb shake. There's one sitting right there on it. Ooh. I need to get a little closer to see if he eats it. He came up on the frog. He's probably on a bed right there. Ow, come on. There it is. Let's see if he'll get it. That's a big one. I didn't think he was that big or I wouldn't have caught him. I thought he was like a two pounder. Oh gosh. Well, that's definitely the kind that we're gonna need in the tournament. <laughs> if I knew he was that big, I would not have caught him. Sixty-five. Well, that's what we're gonna need right there. Gosh, dang, that's a big one. Where are you going, buddy? He's running way out there. There you go. That one looked big. Gosh dang, that's a big one. I hope they bite it like this in the tournament, guys. This will be a fun one. Setting on the little ones. So over three, and we are not setting the hook. <laughs> All right, guys, ended up calling it a day. Wind is really picking up out there, even getting up in the pockets. 
it's uh it's hard to fish around so i feel like i have enough info to make good decisions in this tournament <laughs> the largemouth some of them are looking pretty big so largemouth might play a little bit more than i was anticipating kind of thought that smallmouth would be the deal the way some of these largemouth are, are hitting the frog largemouth may end up being the deal so i think for the tournament what i'm going to do is start off on one of those bars see if i can get a few smallmouth in the boat because the smallmouth do seem to be pretty good quality uh, and maybe i'll get lucky and catch up four or five six pound smallmouth see how the bite's doing out there and then head up into the pockets fish for some largemouth we do have a cold front coming through so it's gonna be a little bit chilly tournament morning so I also figure that with the warming temperatures kind of throughout the day the largemouth bite will pick up more towards the afternoon but let's we'll have to end up see how it goes in the tournament feel like i'm on decent decent bag of fish but never really know until the tournament gets started up so stay tuned for that one guys appreciate you watching this video Hopefully we can catch him here, stop number three on Kentucky Lake.